Welcome back to WC Marketplace. In this video, we shall learn how the admin can edit vendor store information and specifically provide permission. In our vendor dashboard video, we have already seen that a vendor can edit their shop information from store settings. But alternatively, you can do the same in certain situations from the admin dashboard. Say for example, this is the vendor for whom you want to restrict certain flexibilities. Suppose we want to disallow the vendor from publishing the products right after submission. How do we achieve this feat? Extremely simple. From the admin dashboard, go to users, all users. This page enlists all the users of your site. Select the vendor whose details or permissions you want to edit by clicking on the edit option just below their username. Although vendor details are editable by the vendor themselves, yet you may find it necessary in some cases to edit the information which you may do from this page. To change the shop title, alter the text next to vendor page title. The shop URL can be modified in the vendor page slug section. Shop description can be edited from the description text area. Address, phone, email and description can be hidden from the front end by checking the boxes for it. Company details, address and phone numbers can be edited from this section. Social profile links can be modified in the social profile section. Shop logo and banner image can be changed here. Payment settings can be altered from this segment. Policy tab name can be modified from the policy tab title. Various policies of the vendor can be edited here. Similarly, commission amount can be set here. Now, specific permissions for the vendor can be set or unset from this segment. You can allow this vendor to submit products by checking the box for it. But we shall now disallow the vendor to publish their products directly just after submission by checking the box next to it. You can even withhold tax, shipping or even block this vendor. If for some reason you find it necessary to change the vendor role to pending or rejected, you may do so by going to the role drop down section and then changing it to the desired role. After all the changes have been made, click on update user to save the modifications. With this we come to the end of our video. If we have been an aid to you, do hit the like button. Hit on subscribe to stay informed with all the latest trends of WCMP. Thank you for watching.